Hello traders, it's Friday, February 3rd, and here is our daily market review. U.S. equity markets turned in mixed results on Thursday, but essentially finished with only slight changes. Today will be a huge day of data from the states as hourly earnings and non-manufacturing purchasing managers index data, which will be released, but will actually become overshadowed by the non-farm employment change statistics. The jobless numbers will be watched carefully today after Wednesday's Federal Reserve Monetary Policy Statement, which expressed caution. The broad markets have experienced choppy trading the past week and today will likely be no different. A surprise result from the non-farm employment change data would certainly help set a quick pace. China returned to the equity markets today and the Shanghai Shenzhen Composite has turned in rather cautious trading along with the Hang Seng Index in Hong Kong. The Kaixin Manufacturing PMI results re released early this morning for China proved disappointing. The Nikkei and Topics indexes from Japan have produced slight gains and the yen has weakened against the US dollar. The Bank of England released their monetary policy summary yesterday. While the central bank kept their interest rate and stimulus package identical, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney did say the economy is doing better than expected and has risen the growth forecasts. However, Brexit news also abounded as Prime Minister Theresa May released an outline of the government's 12-point plan for parliamentary review. The pound saw violent whipsaw trading. Having started the day near short-term highs, the British currency abruptly reversed and lost value on Thursday. The UK will release a services PMI report this morning. Gold produced a circus-like trading environment on Thursday as it made fast gains and tested new highs, but then came down almost as swiftly. The precious metal is still within the higher boundaries of its short-term range, but volatility is strong and gold traders need to be alert before going into the weekend. Investors will watch the non-farm employment change data from the U.S. at 1.30 GMT very carefully. Thank you for watching. Have a good trading day. We'll see you again soon.